What is up? It's a good morning to be me because today we're back at Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch at SwitchCars.com, the world's first destination dealership. And to tell us about it, my man Doug. What's up, Matt? What's up, dude? What's a destination dealership? Destination dealership is one that you'd actually want to come to. And looking around this uh, fleet of cars here, I can see one reason I'd want to be here. But besides <laughs> that, why do I want to be here? Uh, well, instead of doing the four square with a finance manager to buy a car, yeah. we are cool and we take them out on track to sell you the car. All right, so pre-sale track yep. time in the cars. And I see a lot of cars here. We've got some Lotuses. This M1 is uh, certainly one of my favorites. Yeah. A few Porsches. Even we got muscle cars. So what's your specialty here? I mean, the variety is pretty wild. Well, we've got everything from track, uh, track cars and street cars to you know garage queens and collector cars. Obviously, yeah. these cars never see the track, but these cars are built to be out there. So we've got a whole wide range of unique stuff. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the variety here, and uh, I'd like to drive something. I'm I'm in the market, maybe. Yeah, you, <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> what do you got? I've got a couple cars I picked out just for you that we can take for a ride. What am I gonna drive? What are you oh, gonna stop! Drive? Really? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A one off. 64 E-Type Resto Rod, probably the only Jaguar that has ever been subjected to this treatment, but it is... That's crazy. It is sick. It's a 64? It is a 64. So it's a 4.2? Yes. Yep. Awesome. About 200 grand put into this car. There, I mean, what's le other than the hood, what is left? <laughs> like, we've got shaved door handles, shaved badges, this windshield is different, this interior is all kinds of different. Well, the seats actually are original E-Type seats, just reupholstered. Really? So they look like, like the Jetsons version of the <laughs> E-Type seats, don't they? No, those are the real seats. Original motor, uh, you know, original body panels, obviously modified, but yeah. you know, almost everything else is different. Coilover suspension, disc brakes, the, the car's nuts. These, I like these, uh, uh, what are these, mini mag, mag light wheels, what are they called? Something like, like that. Like mini, yeah. ma mini mags, yeah, I think, yeah. right? Someone's going to call me out, I'm sure. I think it's mini mags. Somebody came in and, and told me more about the wheels than I ever wanted to know. I'm, yeah. All these jag nuts come in, and apparently they're $10,000 knockoff. I'm sure. Wheels, all that. I like the finish. They're, Powder they're coated cool. to match the car too. Very, very cool. So this is our street car. Too. Check this out. You've got the. Oh the yeah. Does that pick up? In the car. I don't know if that picks up on film, but there are two like ghosted, like blue on blue stripes there. Very, very cool. Yeah. Oh, this thing is great. So this is our ultimate street car, and then. I, I see the GT2. 700 horsepower Evolution Motorsports kit, carbon fiber everywhere, BBS yes. wheels, cup car suspension. This thing looks nasty. The GT2 is uh, one of the most feared and respected of the Porsches. For good reason. Yeah, it's the snap oversteer, I might kill you at any second yeah. thing. Yeah, and with 700 horsepower, it's a true widow maker. Yeah, no kidding. This thing scares even Is that ceramics? Yes. Ceramics. Okay. Well, ultimate track car and ultimate street car. Yep. Okay. Let's uh, let's go drive. What should we drive first? Let's uh, let's drive the street car first. Okay. Cool. All right. This is like some Ferris Bueller's Day Off shit right here. <laughs> the Porsche behind and take out the Jaguar 1964 Jaguar E-Type Resto Mod so restored and modified it's got uh, quite a bit of modification to it actually we've got a re completely rebuilt engine which I will show you and it looks beautiful uh, with uh, an exhaust it's got some long tube headers it's got an MSD ignition pack uh, but other than that, mostly stock bottom end, no crazy modifications to it. Uh, the body of the car has been, uh, every, looks like every body panel has been touched here. Shaved door handles, all kinds of, uh, of beautiful streamlining work. 
and then the interior is completely custom. I, I don't think there's anything left here of the uh, original E-Type interior. The windshield is, well, low, so my entire face is above it, which is nice. But the best thing about this car in the 10 seconds I've driven it is that you get a real sense of heritage that I hate to be that guy that's like, yeah, blah, blah, they don't make them like they used to, and obviously they don't because someone built this one a lot better than it originally was. But very few cars today do kind of stir the soul the way that a, uh, a classic E-Type does. You know, just sitting in it and hearing it and, uh, and, oh, that sound, here we go. Just wind it out once. Oh, yeah. Buttery smooth straight six, 4.2 liters. The shifter throws are so nice and crisp. The suspension in this car has been upgraded to coilovers, which actually, you know, I'm not gonna say it makes it handle like a new car because it certainly does not feel like a new car. But you can tell that even though the car retains its old character, that you can, it, it feels mechanically like everything is brand new. It just works. And in fact, this car has 440 miles on it. Zero to 60 and exactly who cares? You know, it doesn't, it absolutely doesn't matter how fast it goes because when you hit the gas, it just, it, you went from not fast enough to fast enough right there. That's, that's really the only thing that matters with a car like this is that it can, it can put a smile on your face at absolutely any speed. I love this car. This, this, is the, this is the Sunday car right here. You've got modern performance, and by performance I mean reliability. And even if it's not fast, it's, it feels fast, it drives fast, it shifts like a fast car, and it looks like a fast car, and it goes more than fast enough to put a huge smile on your face because this car will make you smile at absolutely any speed. But in case you don't want to go any speed, let's hit it the one time. Yeah! Man, that feels good. Turn to Spring Mountain. It makes you feel like a car guy. That's what, you know, you can be an idiot in a suit and driving around and flapping your paddles all day, but driving this, this car is like, yes, I am a car guy because I'm driving the most beautiful Jaguar in the world. <laughs> that should do it, huh? I gotta tell you guys, GT2s scare me. They scare me because they have silly power, their rear wheel drive, and their rear engine. And as we head out onto the track here, Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch, all I, my mantra to myself is just be careful, be careful, be careful. Not your car, not your car, not your car. And then we ease on, and then we pull onto the front straight to see what it does, and we hit the gas, and whoa, doctor! It sounds like a jet engine. Like, you don't hear exhaust, you don't hear engine noises, you don't hear anything mechanical. All you hear is just the whoosh of all that boost. This particular GT2 is a 2003. It's equipped with the Evolution Motorsport GT700 package, which takes it from a stock, mild-mannered 480 horsepower up to 700 horsepower, that's crank horsepower. Still, more than enough horsepower to hustle this GT2 around Spring Mountain, no problem. You know, originally the GT2 was a $180,000 car, and this particular example, 2003 with 10,000 miles on it, probably 40, 50 gram worth of upgrades, the BBS wheels, all the carbon fiber and the horsepower, the suspension, and Doug only wants 89 grand for this thing. How is that not a bargain? 
Whee! <laughs> I heart boost. I knew Doug was a smart guy because when I asked, when he said he had a car for me to drive, it was the most horsepower available of any car in the dealership, which I like his thinking on that. Second gear. Oh man, this car, it's like, it's like, do you like doing burnouts? Yeah, of course you do. Do you like doing burnouts at 80 miles an hour? The answer to that question is yes. You need a, an Evo M GT2. And as I under the front straight and prepare to giggle like a schoolgirl, 22 pounds of boost, woo! As quickly as I'm on the gas, I have to get back off the gas because I ran out of road there. <laughs> Man, what a good car. Now I know why people race Porsches. They're awesome. Man, these carbon ceramics. I think this was the first year carbon ceramic brakes were offered in the GT2. They work. They work as advertised. Good car. Good car right here. I like this one. I think I'll take two. Coming up next week on The Smoking Tire, I drive distracted with a girl, and I shoot a really big gun. Oh! It's like Walmart had a sale on gear. It's a Fobgina. I don't know what else to call it. The Evo bends the earth to its will. This car is impossible to drive slowly.